Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Wasim here from the channel Hudson Smiles. Thank you for joining me on another video. Today I'm going to be doing the first impressions of a real classic in the fragrance community. This one is called Azara Bor Arm. So I picked the, this fragrance up quite cheaply actually. I'm just going to check the receipt. Yeah, I picked this up for £24 here in the UK for brand new. This is a 100ml bottle and I believe for a 200ml you're probably only paying about £5 extra. So real, definite, real cheapy. And this one is considered a old classic. And at the moment, I'm really getting into these old classic sort of fragrances. Uh, a few years ago, I bought uh, Corum uh, by Anthony Puig. And I also bought Dav uh, Davidoff Zeno. Two real classic uh, fragrances, old school vintage style fragrances. And at the moment, I was watching some YouTube. And two of my favourite reviewers, Lex Alice and Matt from Fragrance Matt, they were reviewing Azara Pour Arm, an old video which I uh, came across uh, in my YouTube feed and I really enjoyed them and this is a fragrance which for many many years has intrigued me but I just haven't gone out and bought it and uh, the other day I was just like you know what I'm just gonna buy it so really excited to give this a first impressions um, and I really have to say there's so many good uh, fragrance reviewers and bloggers uh, you might have seen a previous video by me, a uh, video by me, a first impressions of Gabasha by Gri, and I was inspired to buy that fragrance from Wafts and the Loft, uh, his Instagram channel, their Instagram channel, uh, and they put put a post of Gabasha on there, and it just really intrigued me to try it. And then uh, there were no videos of Gabasha on YouTube apart from a video of a gentleman, I believe he's from France. I can't remember his name, uh, name of his channel, but I'll leave a link in the description below. So it's, it's really great to see so many uh, people talk about real classic fragrances. Uh, sometimes the YouTube community is, is sort of uh, built up by people talking about real fragrances that I'm not interested in just for views, but it's good to see people still talking about classics. So Gabusha, I mean, this is Azara Pour Om. So Azara Pour Om, this was released in 1978. The bottle is quite nice, in my opinion. It's all black apart from the silver. So this is 100 ml bottle and all the toilettes. So let's see, Azara Pour Om. Wow, the lid inside looks super cool. Let's take this out. So this is a Zara Pour Arm, and I have to say, this is a gorgeous bottle. The colour of the juice is amber, and it gives off a real, really cool, old school, but sort of futuristic vibe. So it gives off, to me, how a sci-fi film looks in the 80s. So a Zara Pour Arm, released in 1978, let's give this a first impression. The cap, I have to say, looks, it's lovely. And the top, I really like the shoulders. So Azara Pour Arm, let's give this a first impressions. I can smell it in there. Oh, this is so nice. This is giving me a, a total barbershop sort of feel. Oh. Uh, how have I not tried this before? This is right up my street. The opening has this very uh, beautiful, fresh, spicy uh, and citrusy opening. <sighs> fresh, spicy, citrusy opening uh, with a lot of deepness. Just imagine a classic barbershop sort of uh, smell. This is what Zara Boram is giving. This is very, very, uh, giving off a very masculine sort of feel, but it's not masculine in terms of being rugged. It's giving me like a, a masculine nose, but there's an element of elegance to it as well. Like a very nicely put together man, a man who wears really good suits. Uh, that's the sort of vibe it's giving. A man who is well groomed. This is the sort of idea I'm getting from Azara Boram. So the opening, like I've said, first impressions is this uh, beautiful, fresh, spicy citruses, uh, but there's some deepness to this as well. The 
This is beautiful. I can't wait to try and wear this a lot more. And we're going to read the notes of this one. So the notes should be here. At the top, we're going to get lavender, anise, lemon, caraway, basil, bergamot, and clary sage, and iris. So those are the top notes. The heart of the fragrance is vetiver, sandalwood, patchouli, cedar, juniper berries, and cardamom. And the base of the fragrance is oak moss, leather, amber, musk, and tonka bean. So it has oak moss in this, but this is definitely a new formulation. So the oak moss, the quantity they've used is very low. But from my understanding, that shouldn't make too much of a difference. Uh, oak moss, I believe they use it as a fixative in fragrances, much like how they use wood or sandalwood in Middle Eastern or Indian perfumery. So I can definitely understand the spiciness in this scent. Looking at the note breakdown, there's uh, stuff like anise, caraway, uh, cardamom. So that's giving off the spiciness, the fresh spiciness. And there's notes of lemon and bergamot in the opening, which gives off that citrus sweetness, that citrus freshness, sorry. This is beautiful. So Zara Poram, that's my first impressions. I can't wait to test this. This doesn't seem outdated to me or it doesn't seem old mannish. It gives off a fresh masculine sort of vibe. Uh, but for me, I don't see it being old school, too old school or old mannish or like an old man. Uh, maybe because I typically wear very bold oud or others. So fragrances like this seem quite tame. For me, I could easily see myself wearing this to work no problem at all this is not a daring fragrance this is a absolutely beautiful fragrance that's my first impressions uh, in the next coming months i'm going to test this and give you guys my full review i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please do leave me a like and a comment below and if you haven't subscribed to the channel please make sure you do until next time my friends see you later